scalability and high availability. So first of all, we need to understand what scalability means and what high availability means, right? Scalability basically means that an application or system can handle greater load loads by adapting. So adapting adapting means like in, in AWS terminology, uh, we have two terms. One is scale in and one is scale out. So we will understand um, this in this uh, slide. Uh, so there are two kinds of scalability, vertical scalability and horizontal scalability or elasticity. Vertical scalability is um, linked, but uh, I mean, this is uh, scalability is linked, but it's basically different from high availability. So you should understand the difference between both the high availability and the scalability. Uh, yeah, and, and once we complete this um, section, uh, I hope you will be clear on this topic. Let's dive deep into the discussion. And I'll just take an example. You just think of a, a call center, right? Um, so uh, vertical scalability means increasing the size of the instance. So we have the instances, the VMs, right? And we basically define um, size of the instance, uh, which until now we are using the T2, T2 micro, right? which has a certain number of CPUs, RAM, and a hard drive. So uh, scalability means basically increasing that size of the instance. So for example, uh, you have a junior operator and a senior operator, right? The difference between both could be seen as, as junior operator would be um, able to handle like say a 10 calls per hour, but a senior operator can be able to handle say, say 20 calls per hour. So that is the difference between the uh, uh, two operators, junior and senior. Now, for example, your application runs on a T2 micro, which is in our case, uh, scaling that application vertically means running it on a T2 large. So it, this can be done simultaneously without any outage. And vertical scalability is very really common for non-distributed systems such as a database, right? So we'll be running, now, now you know that we are instantiating the instances, but what we do on those instances, right? We can have database running on those in, uh, instances or some other service like the uh, web, server, web services that we saw yesterday. And then you have RDS, um, which is again a relational database service uh, provided by AWS, Elastic Cache, and our services that can scale vertically. There's usually a limit to how much you can vertically scale. Um, obviously, there will be hardware limited uh, limits, depending on the uh, type of um, instances that the AWS is providing us. Uh, now, let's talk about horizontal scaling. So that was the vertical scaling. Now, let's see what horizontal scaling means. Now, horizontal scaling means increasing the number of instances or systems for your application. Now here, what we will do, we have a single operator. Now we can bring, bring, on more, bring in more operators, right? To handle the uh, flow of the calls. Or in our case, we can say that, um, uh, I mean, we can uh, spin up more instances, right? To cover the load on the, uh, on the system. And horizontal scaling implies distributed systems. Uh, this is very really common for web applications uh, like the um, in web servers and modern applications. Uh, it's easy to horizontal scale uh, thanks to the cloud offerings such as Amazon EC2. Now, what is high availability? Now you understand horizontal scaling and uh, vertical scaling. Now what does high availability means? High availability usually goes hand in hand with horizontal scaling. High availability basically means running your application system in at least two data centers, like AZs. So uh, you can have, um, I mean, uh, two uh, EC2 instances running on different AZs so that there is, um, I mean, uh, availability of the application, even if one uh, data center goes down, right? The goal of high availability is to survive a data loss, data center loss. For example, uh, we have a building in, um, India, and we have operators working there, taking calls, right? And then we can also have a second uh, building in Sydney. And there also we have operators taking up calls, right? But now the goal is um, um, when the high availability can, be, I mean, the high ability basically can be passive 
and uh, I mean, there is also the active kind of high availability. So uh, I will tell you the difference. So for example, now uh, the, uh, uh, we have a data center loss, right? But then you have two data centers working uh, side by side. So if the building in India goes down, the Sydney building is able to take calls. So you don't have, you have the continuity of your work going on, right? Now, high ability and scalability for EC2. Vertical scaling increases instant size, scale up, scale down. So it is both. I mean, you can scale it up and scale it down. Means increasing the in instance whenever needed. And when you don't have that much of workload, you can decrease the instance. Uh, automatically, also it's possible uh, using something called ASG. We will see in this uh, lab today. So from uh, your T2 Nano, uh, which has a, a 0.5 gig of RAM and one GB CPU, to uh, a U12 TB1 metal server, which has a 12.3 TB of RAM and 448 virtual CPU. So you can just see the scaling cap capabilities, right? Depending on the uh, load on your application, you can do this. Horizontal scaling increases number of instances, uh, which is basically scale out or scale in. Uh, and uh, this is what I said, auto scaling group, which we will be uh, talking about uh, in the uh, I mean, next coming slides and also in the lab. Then you have the load balances. High availability, uh, basically run instances for the same application across multi AZs. And so load balancer can be also multi AZ. Right? So if you are not familiar with load balancer, we will see in the uh, future slides, don't worry about it.